more and more of you are becoming consumer savvy. By putting your knowledge to the test, you're getting some great results against the big boys. And here's how you did it. Home is where the heart is. And for over 2 million Britons who own leasehold properties, to avoid heartache, they pay a management company to look after and maintain their building. And it's estimated that this costs leaseholders over £700 million every year. But what happens if your management agent is charging you high fees but not maintaining the building? Can you do anything? Well, apparently, yes. Meet Neil Healy. He bought an apartment in a block of 165 flats on a Swiss development in Nottingham in December 2007. But soon after moving in, he realised that Solitaire, the property management company, hadn't been keeping the house in order. I realised by speaking to some of my neighbours that um, we seem to be receiving very large um, service charge bills and the management was poor. It was obvious that the, uh, the grounds weren't being maintained properly. The communal area uh, in two blocks smelt of sewage. And this is a problem that was reported, continuously reported to Solitaire Property Management uh, and nothing was ever resolved. Solitaire had crossed the wrong man with Neil Healy and he was about to create a stink of his own. I wrote to um, Solitaire Property Management and asked to activate, to use my right under landlord and tenant legislation to inspect receipts and invoices. A meeting was arranged at Solitaire's headquarters for Neil and a neighbour to look through the requested paperwork. We were given spreadsheets of figures that did not relate in any way to bills I'd received. We were in there for less than an hour before we had to abandon it because the information just wasn't available. Neil wasn't deterred. He switched to plan B. It was decided that all blocks would join together and we would make a very large joint application to a leasehold valuation tribunal to determine whether the years of service charge were reasonable. After six months, the tribunal ordered Solitaire to hand over copies of all receipts and invoices for each year for each block. There was invoices and receipts for repairs to other estates, developments in Britain, that didn't even relate to our estate. There was invoices and receipts for duplicate works. Neil spent hundreds of hours collecting evidence from all 165 leaseholders until he'd amassed a mountain of paperwork against Solitaire. And so, almost two years after Neil had moved in, it was crunch time at the tribunal. On one side of the uh, room was myself, and on the other side was a barrister from London on behalf of uh, the Sarté Group, and also two solicitors, um, an accountant, uh, and uh, uh, quite a few senior managers from the Peveril Group. Peveril was the company that bought Solitaire in 2008, and so they had to face the music on the day of reckoning. Neil's hard work and countless hours trawling through accounts were about to pay off. The judgment was uh, refunds for all years, for all blocks at City Heights. The total refund was um, £223,000, which went to 165 families. This was a great victory, but it was time for Neil and his neighbours to take charge once and for all. In May 2010, we served the correct notices on the freeholder, activating our right to manage to take over the blocks. The new company was owed money by the old management group, including reserve funds and advance payments already paid by the homeowners. And they got back every penny. The total amount I've managed to recover from the Solitaire group back into the accounts of the development is just short of half a million pounds. It's about £420,000. Bennett, what an incredible result, 420 grand. Good on you, Neil. Even I could learn a thing or two from you. What a community champion. Holding and Management is a landlord company and the freeholder of this City Heights development. They've issued a statement which includes... Holding and management exercises no management functions itself and relied upon Peveril to fulfil that role at City Heights. Peveril has also released a statement which includes... No Peveril employee had any involvement with the management of this development for all but the last nine months of the six years that were considered by the tribunal. 
That was a typical case of David and Goliath. Neil diligently did his research, put together his case, and he beat the big boys. We all like to see that, don't we?